today and um, I've actually been playing with uh, some multi-chromes and so I thought I'd go ahead and film the look and show you what I did and actually what I'm gonna do because it was looking really really glowy this particular foundation and I haven't actually powdered but it's not looking as glowy as it was um, so since it's kind of settling down, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, put some of the Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder on here and see if I can get some of the glow back. Uh, this brush actually is newer. It's from Revolution and um, I got it over, oops, never mind. Um, Maybe they aren't good quality. They're about $5 a piece and they are over at a Walmart, but I guess I won't be recommending this one. So um, let's just see if we can get some powder on here. I thought they were cute because they had big handles and were different colors and kind of looked like paint brushes. So. see if we can go ahead and take down the glow and then go ahead and build the glow back up here okay so we're powdered with beauty pie triple glow powder and this is actually the ninth inning by Trixie I just moved it into a different bottle Like the sprayer a lot better on this bottle and uh, let's see what else we got here um, hmm okay so as far as what I have on my face um, did do a couple of things this morning I used the glow oil by super goop SPF 50 and the glow serum um, by hard candy and so this one actually gives me a little bit of a bronze not a lot of bronze but it's a good primer and it um, smells like candy, so if that bothers you, if scents bother you, you may not want to go ahead and pick it up because it does smell very strongly of sweet tarts. And then ColourPop Pretty Fresh and 30 Neutral is what I have on as well. Did go ahead and use the Flower Beauty, the Heat Wave Bronzer. And so that's what I have on there. As far as what I went ahead and used for a blush, it's going to be the uh, Mauve uh, Liquid Blush from e.l.f. That's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use a little bit of the ColourPop, and this one is in the Out of Quartz to go ahead and help the highlighter out. Actually, it's two highlighters. I use uh, this one by ColourPop as a highlighter and then this one by Hard Candy. It's a Trefoils highlighter and um, it's uh, Hard Candy did a collaboration with the Girl Scouts of America. They're doing makeup this year. This is available over at Walmart and the ColourPop is available at Target or Ulta um, or on their website. So yeah. That's what I have there. I did go ahead and use the Incognito by Wet n Wild as far as my uh, concealer. I also picked up the Makeaware by Wet n Wild. It's a mascara soy based and I have that on as well. did go ahead and use the Thick n Wild by Essence and the Caramel Blonde for the brows. And as far as what I did for the lips, the NYX, and this is one of their Butter Glosses. So that's kind of what I have on there. As far as, yeah, I'll have to list the shade in the box below. I can't read that without glasses. And then I also picked up this LA Colors uh, Shimmer Jelly Gloss. And so actually, both of these I got over at Dollar Store. I also picked up a couple of gel liners from... Um, and these are called the Shimmer ones. Uh, they're by LA Colors as well. So... All of this I went ahead and picked up over at Dollar Store, and I haven't found anything that didn't work. Um, 
with these uh, with the gel liners what I found was that you need to warm them up by going ahead and using them on the back of your hand as far as the jelly um, go ahead and put it comes in a dough foot that's kind of nice okay so there's some of that and so that's the LA Colors, the jelly on top of the NYX. So it gave it a little bit, a little bit more depth there. And there's that. So this palette is by DD Signature. It's called Jingle Bell Ruby. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Um, it was actually marketed for the holidays, but with the greens in here and the uh, multi-chrome shades and the burgundies, I would say that probably it's a palette that could go year-round if you wanted to. Uh, definitely in the holidays in the summertime. Um, so Dee Dee Signature, they have their own website. I don't think you can find these in store, um, but you can order them off the website. And so today I went ahead and put this color on and then I did uh, this in the crease. This is in the outer corner. I did a little bit of this in the middle of the lid. A uh, little bit of uh, this really pretty multi-chrome right from here to here. And then I put some of the sugar plum um, actually right there. I think with this uh, crispy holidays, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that right under the brow. And we just have so many multi-chromes on this burgundy base that it's all over the place. I mean, there's um, these multi-chromes are worth the price of the palette alone. They're so gorgeous, and uh, they have multi-dimensional. They just have a lot of color in them. So this way it turned out as far as the look. And once again, I have that burgundy matte base, and then I have, what is it, three or four of the different multi-chromes on. So there's a lot of shiftiness, a lot of glowiness to this look. And that's why I kind of thought right off the bat that I didn't want to go ahead and powder it down just because it's so glowy, such a wet look. And I think that that's the way that it's going to go ahead and be the best. I, I wouldn't want to go ahead and try to powder it down anymore because it, it really does seem to be a look that lends itself to that. I didn't plan to actually go that way, but it went that way. And yeah, I think it's pretty. So um, let's see. I think the only other thing was that I had, I picked up, um, these were over at Dollar Store too, and they were just really cute as far as being able to see what you have in your makeup bag. And, um, or if you're going to events or concerts where they have to be able to see into your bag to know what you're taking in. So I just thought these were kind of cute and they had a couple of different kinds. And other than that, I think that's the whole video. Um, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.